Hey guys, this is Mitch from BoardCo and welcome to the next video in our series about troubleshooting and preventing issues while you are out on your new Centurion or Supreme boat. This one we're going to be talking about a very uncommon issue, but one that can be a bit of a problem if you run into it and, and experience it, and that is a phenomenon called passive hydrolock. What passive hydrolock is, is, it's a, is it is a phenomenon where water actually comes from the lake on the outside goes up through the exhaust and ends up in the engine cylinders on the inside of the boat, inside of the engine. This can occur a number of ways. The most common way that we see passive hydrolock and that has been we've been experiencing for years and years and years is if the engine gets overheated and you immediately shut the motor down. Um, in other words, if your impeller if goes out or something like that happens, you shut the engine down and what can occur is that the heat of the engine can act as a siphon and pull water from the lake up into the engine. Um, there's not much you can do to prevent that one except for just try to not let your boat get overheated. The other one that we see a, a little more often now, particularly with the amount of ballast they're being put in all of these new surf boats, is a preventable form of passive hydrolock. That one typically occurs on any boat that is out there where you have a large amount of weight that is placed towards the rear of the boat where the engine is located. In this boat that I'm standing in right now, a Centurion FI-23, this boat packs 4,850 pounds of ballast. Now, this is a phenomenon that can and does occur on every other towboat out there, um, whether you're talking about a Supra, an Antique, a Malibu, etc. However, because of the amount of ballast that we pack in the Centurion and Supreme boats, it is a little bit more likely to occur on these boats than on others. Um, it's something that can happen on any boat if you add enough weight into it, but it becomes more likely to happen on a Centurion when it's fully ballasted. I'll give you an example here. So we have the ballast full in this FI-23. Normally the swim platform is actually sitting about an inch out of the water when there's no ballast in the boat. However, when you add about 5,000 pounds of ballast, you can see I step here on the swim platform and it's hitting me on my ankles. This waterline level is actually okay. And the chances of having a passive hydrolock issue when I have this amount of water, um, this that the water depth is right here, is extremely unlikely. What will typically happen um, that we see from people uh, all around the country that may experience this issue is that they will either be swimming and hanging out here on the back of the boat and you have five, six, seven people sitting here on the back end for an extended period of time, forcing that water line even further down um, or either even further up on the boat rather, or they have additional weight piled into the boat, whether that be lead weight or steel weights or something like that to have even more than 5,000 pounds of ballast. The nice thing is, is preventing this, preventing it from happening is, is a super easy thing to do, especially on the Centurion boats. The way you do that is either empty the plug and play or even faster, just empty the ramp fill ballast if you're gonna stop and hang out for an extended time period out on the water. The other way that time that we've seen this happen is guys going and beaching their boat so that the nose is pushed way up and the back end is way down in and leaving the ballast full while they're beaching it for an extended period of time. Now when I say extended period of time, it's going to take a little while. It's not something that can typically happen while you're changing between riders or having anything like that taking place. It's really when you're going to stop for an extended period of time. This is also not an issue that's very common at all. Um, we recently saw the very first case of passive hydrolock at our dealership about a week ago. Uh, it's the first one that we have seen, but we have been hearing word of different guys seeing it in different spots around the country and wanted to make sure that you knew how to prevent it on your boat so you don't end up ever end up running into this issue. If you have any questions about it, feel free to reach out to us, but it's a really simple thing to prevent and just as long as you know what to do and how to make it so that you don't end up running into it. Thanks a lot. Check out the rest of our videos on troubleshooting and how to dial in your boat um, on our YouTube channel, BoardCo, or check out our website, BoardCo.com, for more information. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon.